In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Legends Pinball Micro. It's a smaller version of the popular At Games Legends Pinball Machine. We'll unbox it, set it up, and of course, play a few of the included 50 licensed pinball tables. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. I want to make you aware if you visit wagnerstechtalk.com forward slash ALP micro, it will take you to the Legends Pinball Micro Guide. This guide covers questions you may have, additional resources, quick assembly information, and more. The guide complements this video and will be enhanced as new information is available. Let's quickly go over the features of the Legends Pinball Micro SpecBot. Would you mind doing the honors? Sure, John, I'd be happy to. 15.6 inches full 1080p 60 FPS playfield, 8 inches back glass LCD, 50 built-in pinball tables, built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and Ethernet connectivity, flippers nudge buttons, built-in accelerometer, 16 gigabytes built-in flash storage, HDMI input for the playfield. Back to you, John. Thank you, Specbot. I would like to thank At Games for sending the Legends Pinball Micro for guide development and review. Inside the box, you'll find the back box, as well as a hardware pack, and a power supply and of course the main unit itself. There are different artwork selections available. This one includes a mix of Zakari and Taito artwork. We'll take a close look at each before we assemble the machine. I personally like the layout of the artwork used on the Legends Pinball Micro as most of the games that I play on the Legends Pinball are indeed Taito and Zakaria tables. All of the gameplay I'll be showing in this video will be only from the included pinball tables. The hardware pack includes some wooden dowels, screws, and a screwdriver. The manual is well done and explains the assembly very clearly. There is also a cool 2022 catalog. The included power supply is 12 volts, 5 amps, and 60 watts. Now let's begin the assembly. We'll start by removing the four screws from the back of the back box and then remove the back panel. Inside the back box the video connector will be attached here and in this section I presume this is where the new VIBS board will be installed. The small connector is to attach the speakers. Insert the two wooden dowels and the holes into the main playfield unit then feed the video and audio cables through the opening at the bottom and now secure the back box to the main unit by installing two of the screws. Now we'll attach the video cable and the audio cable to the speakers. Then position the back panel and reinstall the four screws to hold it into place. Now plug in the power and notice At Games has listened to the community and has moved all the ports to the back. Here we have the HDMI input for the play field, the USB 3.0 port, USB 2.0, and Ethernet port. To better visualize the size of the Legends Pinball Micro, it's approximately 24 inches long by 22.5 inches tall and about 12 inches wide. You're likely curious how it compares in size to the ALP. Let's take a look. It's slightly over half the length and has all the same basic functions, although it uses a button for the plunger instead of the more traditional analog design. When compared to the Legends Pinball, the Playfield display looks nice, but the colors aren't quite as saturated. On the top right, you have the channel button for switching to HDMI and the volume down and up buttons. Pressing the channel button will allow switching to a PC, Steam Deck, or similar device. I hope to be able to demonstrate this feature soon. And of course, you can adjust the volume levels as well. One of the first things you'll want to do is connect your Legends Pinball Micro to the internet so you can get the latest firmware updates, install new tables and applications. To do that, navigate to the Settings tab, select Wi-Fi, and select your Wi-Fi name or SSID and enter your passphrase. Once connected, you'll then log in with your Legends ID if you don't have one, visit atgames.net forward slash arcade net to create your free or paid Legends ID. Then it's simply a matter of logging into the machine and entering your password. Once connected, 
you'll see this success message. Now you can download and install any additional applications or purchase pinball tables. Let's move over to the tables tab and I'll scroll through the list of tables pre-installed on the machine. There are a total of 50 tables included. You can easily add more with the 16 gigabytes of internal flash storage. An external USB stick is only necessary if you plan to add CoinOps X games. We'll discuss that shortly. On the front, you have several buttons such as Rewind, Forward Nudge, Play, At Games or Home, and the Plunger button. On the sides, the red button is for the flippers and the white button is for nudging. Although you can also use the built-in accelerometer to nudge the ball as well. To launch a ball, press and hold the plunger button and release to launch. Pressing the At Games button while in-game will bring up the table override settings where you can customize the experience on a per table basis. You can also reset all the table overrides within the main settings tab should you want to. One of the common issues with its larger sibling is rattling. Here I've set the haptics to high and not experiencing any rattling from the top panel. Under the Arcade Net tab, there are a handful of arcade games that can be played, such as P47 Aces. Here I'm using Wi-Fi, but Ethernet would provide better streaming performance. The lobby, typically found on the ALU, is also included on the Micro, and has a few pages of pinball tables available. Within the App Store X tab, you'll also find the BitLCD and Pixelcade X app for the BitPixel. I did give it a try, and it works as expected. You of course won't be able to mount it directly to the Micro, but could easily be hung on a nearby wall. Now let's check out some gameplay. Of course, the most important aspect of this machine is the gameplay. I'll show a sampling of tables in various lighting conditions so you can get a good idea of how they play. Are you ready? Begin. Pinball games aren't the only games you can play on the Legends Pinball Micro. Using this guide, you can install the CoinOps X Whopper with Cheese build and play hundreds of vertical arcade games. This guide and video will step you through the entire process. 
As the Micro has 16 gigabytes of flash storage built in, you will only need to create a single partition on a USB stick for your games. You'll also find a handy CoinOpsX reference card that you can download and print. After preparing your CoinOpsX USB stick with the games, insert it into the USB 3.0 port and install the CoinOpsX application from the App Store X tab. Using the D-pad on the Micro for playing games is not the best experience. For that, you may want to consider using an external controller, such as this clone Xbox 360 controller. After starting a game, you can make adjustments to how it looks on the screen by pressing the At Games button, or the Xbox button in my case. From there, you can save the state of the game, change the display mode, I prefer Fit on the Micro, Fill will fill the entire screen. You can also add vertical, horizontal, or no scan lines. Now let's play a few arcade games. We've reached the end of another video. I honestly wasn't sure what I would think of the Legends Pinball Micro, but after playing with it for the past several days, I'm really enjoying it. The size of the machine makes sense. It's not going to take up a large area of your room, apartment, or office, and all the things you can do on the larger Legends Pinball are still there. I do want to remind you to check out the guide linked below. The information there may change as the Pinball Micro gets closer to release. I also hope to be able to show you the Vibs board in a follow-up video. What do you think of the Legends Pinball Micro? Please comment below. I'm really interested in what you have to say about it. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, I'd appreciate it if you smash that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. And with that, I look forward to talking with you again very soon.